so y'all will see it in the general chat. Okay, so they go from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You'll be clearing those numbers, okay? And as y'all uh, clear the numbers off, I'll erase them off the board, okay? All right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead with that said. Let me go ahead and go back here. Okay, with that said, we know the rules of the game. Let me go ahead and start my timer for 30 minutes. Okay, we're ready to do the game. And uh, Justin, since you're the champion, go ahead and pick your uh, category here. Uh, I'll go with the world of TV. The world of TV. Okay, that's the first box. You have 30 seconds to answer your question. So here it is, the world TV. Which NBA Olympus host is the youngest American gold medal winner in their sport? Is A, Magic Johnson, B, Bob Costas, C, Tara Lipinski, or D, Scott Hamilton. I'm going to say Bob Costas. Bob Costas, let's see. No, it's Tara Lipinski. Tara Lipinski, that is wrong. So, no box, and we shuffle the board again. All right, Justin Bowling, which uh, category? Sound and music looks nice. Let's do that. Sound and music. We'll put that up there. Sound and music. Remember, y'all helps if you need them. Here we go. Sound and music. And here's the question. Which famous singer was originally part of a group called Destiny Child? Is it A, Beyonce, B, Miley Cyrus, C, Taylor Swift, or D, Cardi B? Beyonce. This was an easy question. Beyonce is correct. You get the box, Justin. Good. There's $2,500 in the pile. Let's shuffle it. All right, Justin, uh, for showing which category you want. Uh, I'll go with 
I'll go Sound of Music. Sound of Music? Okay, we're going to go with Sound of Music again. And here's your question on Sound of Music. What would the weekend do for you? Is the A die, B live, C love, or D die? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Love. Love, let's see. No, it's die. A die. So, box go on claim, we shuffle. Okay, Justin uh, Bowling, which category? Zoo animals. Going zoo animals. Okay. On the upper right hand corner, here's your question on zoo animals. Which physical feature most clearly separates water dwelling turtles from land dwelling tortoises? Is it A, leg shape, B, head shape, C, eye placement, or D, tail length? Is it leg shape or eye placement? Five leg seconds. Shape. Leg shape. Leg shape is correct. Good job, Justin. All right. You utilize the 50-50. You got $5,000 in the pot, and we shuffle it. All right, for shelling. I'll go World of TV to block. Okay, World of TV for the block. Question on World of TV. What Netflix show is this? Is it A, Derek, B, Ghost Town? Well, I won't even ask this question because this one, y'all won't be able to see it. In fairness, y'all won't be able to see the visual. I'm going to give you another question, Justin. Because this was a visual. Alright. Here we go. World TV. Whose original theme was not written for the show? Is it A, Law and Order, B, Married with Children, C, Adventure Time, or D, Brady Bunch? Can I use a 50 50? Yes. Is it A, Law and Order, or Married with Children? I'm going to say Married with Children. Married with Children. That's correct. You got the block. Yeah. All right, we have $7,500 in the pot. Now, all the visual categories, we won't do them because y'all won't be able to see them. I'll see them. So, we'll, we have $7,500 in the pot. Justin Verschellen, you use your 50-50. And Justin Bowling, you use one of yours. So, y'all both each have one left. Let's shuffle. All right, Justin uh, Bowen, which category you want? I'll take World of TV. Okay, it's going to be a two-part question on World TV. You'll get that um, extra time. You have to get both of these questions correctly, okay? Right. Okay, so we're going to do the World TV. You still got uh, your skips, and you got... You're 50-50, and you got your extra 30 seconds if you need it. Here we go. World of TV. What is the only show without a crime solver who is also a mystery writer? Is it A, Will Trent, B, Castle, C, Murder, She Wrote, or D, Bones? 50-50. Is it A. Will Trent or C. Murder, She Wrote? A. A. Will Trent? That is correct. Now you gotta get another one right to get the center box. And you're out of 50-50, so you only got the two skips and the uh, two thirty seconds. Here we go. So we're gonna okay. go with uh, World of TV again. Here it is. Which member of the Osborne family was not a regular cast member of the Osbournes? Is it A. Kelly Osborne, B. Jack Osborne, C. Amy Osborne, or D. Sharon Osborne? That would be C. 
See Amy Osborne? You said see us and Cherry? Yes. You got to send to box, that's right! And we have $12,500 in the pot. Okay, we're doing well. Let's shuffle the board. All right, uh, Justin uh, Rochelle, and which one? Oh, boy. <laughs> what, what happens to the game, Justin? I'll go category. You're going with jumping category. All right, so y'all going to need y'all jump ins again. So, and this is going to be a random category. Let me clear the buzzers here. Well, actually, okay. Justin, you need to actually... Rochelle, um, Justin Bowling. Okay, yeah, I have to clear these. Yeah, I have to clear it. Yeah, I did that by mistake. Yeah, I have to clear it. Okay, so Justin, if you get this question right, you'll block him. But uh, Justin uh, Bowling, if you get the question right, you'll have Tic-Tac-Doe, $15,000, and you'll be the new champion, Okay. Here we right. go. Yes. And uh, you don't get to use the help for this one. Here we go. This is a random question. Here it is. Which of his friends meets medieval knights and teaches dinosaurs to make beats in their second season of Solo Adventures? Is it A, Hilda, B, Carmen Sandiego, C, Mika, or D, Lucy Loud? Okay, what's your answer? Okay, time is up. Time is up. I'm sorry. I have to clear the board. Y'all was kind of late on the buzzer. I will give you the answer. The answer to that is Mika. Mika. Okay, so we're going to do another uh, jumping category. Hands on y'all buzzers. There's a random question. Here it is. The image shown... The reigning Formula One world champ on February 29th during the first practice season is ahead of Bahrain Grand Prix. Who is he? Is it A. Lewis Hamilton, B. Sergio Perez, C. Charles Lerlerk, or D. Max Vestrapin? Time. All right, so the answer to that is Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen. Okay, we'll do another one. Another random question. Here it is. Which toy brand is behind the live-action remake of Masters of the Universe, which releases worldwide in June of 2024? Is it A, Hasbro, B, Lego, C, Mattel, or D, Play Mobile? Go ahead, Justin Bowen. What's your answer? Hasbro. Hasbro, let's see. For Tic Tac Doe? No, it's not Hasbro. It's Mattel. So you know what that means? Justin Verschelling automatically gets the box. I'm going to buzz, um, buzz him in. And that is the wrong answer. You get the box automatically, Justin Verschelling. It's still $12,500 in the pot. And let's go ahead and shuffle the board. And it is uh, Justin Bowling's turn. Netflix for the win. Okay, going for Netflix for the win. You get this question right. On Netflix, Justin, it'll be Tic Tac Doe, $15,000, and you'll be the new champion. And incidentally, you have two skips and two 30 seconds if you need it, okay? Here's your question. For Netflix, here's the question. And it's for Tic Tac Doe. These three children turn into Native American spirits in Zutz National Park. But which anime series is it? Is it A, Yogi Bear, B, Power Rangers, 
C, Coco Melon Lane, or D, Spirit Rangers? Give me another 30 seconds, please. All right. You got another 30 seconds. And what are the options again? Is it A, Yogi Bear, B, Power Rangers, C, Coco Melon Lane, or D, Spirit Rangers? Spirit Rangers? Let's see. You got Tic Tac Doe! Nicely done, nicely done, nicely done, nicely done. That means Justin Ver Justin Bowling has won fifteen thousand dollars, and he is the new champion. And he's gonna go ahead against that dragon shortly. Well, Justin Verschelling, you're not going way empty-handed. You're gonna be on our leaderboard for the first time. You have sixty-five thousand dollars in cash. So in order to stay on the leaderboard, Justin Verschelling, you have to beat your own run to stay up there and then be in the top eight, okay? All right. All right. Nice hand for Justin Verschelling. Justin Bowling, are you ready to go ahead to play against that mean dragon? You're going down, Al. All right. We're going to go ahead and beat the dragon. Let me see the time on that we have left. We still have another 16 minutes left. We might do a Dragon Finder game after this. We really went through fast, went fast with that game, didn't we? Yep. We might do a Dragon Finder after this. So what's that exactly? Oh, you'll see it. And I'm going to have Justin Verschelling play the Dragon Finder to get some extra money along the way. Okay? All right. Well, Justin Bowling, you have... $15,000, are you ready to go after that dragon? Let's do it. Let's do the Beat the Dragon game. All right, Justin Bowling, nine numbers are on the board, and the object is for you to get to $10,000 or more before seeing that stupid dragon in the center box. You don't want to get him, because if you get the dragon, you'll lose everything in the bonus round, but your $15,000 is safe, okay? Okay, can you share the screen again? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You have to see, you want to see the dragon. You want to be confronted face-to-face -face with him, don't you? So I need to see where the numbers are at. That way I don't keep asking the questions. It's okay. Which ones are picked. And you can get help from Justin Verschelling. Okay. All right. All right, so you know you want to avoid the dragon at all costs and get $10,000 or more before seeing him, okay? Okay, so with that said, are you ready, uh, Justin um, Bowling? Let's play how the dragon. Here we go. Let's do it. And let's cover the board up. You can get help from Justin Verschelling if you want to. Here we go. Let's start off with number nine. Number nine, number nine. Let's see what's behind number nine. Let's hope it's a good one. $4,000. That's a good start. Do you want to take the $4,000 and walk away or keep playing? I'll go on. Number three. Going on? Number three, let's see what's behind number three. Oh! Oh, hell no. oh my goodness. That stupid dragon comes up on you, Justin Bowling. I'm sorry. Let's see where you should have went. Oh, Tick and Tack was in seven and eight. Oh, doggone it. Well, listen, Justin uh, Bowling, you're going to still get to defend your title. Are you available in tomorrow? I probably will be. I'll be going to church, but after that, I think I'll be all right. All right. We're going to start our game in the evening, just to let you know, at 4 o'clock. Will you be home by about 4 o'clock? I should be able to, because the services is usually in the mornings. Okay, so you'll get to defend your title um, after... Um, church on tomorrow, okay? And hopefully we'll have more people on the call, okay? Yep. Alright, well, here we go. We're going to go ahead, and now since we have a little bit extra time left, 
we're gonna go ahead and do the Dragon Finder game as a new feature of Tic Tac Doe. And we're gonna have Justin Verschelling play the Dragon Finder game. Okay, Justin? Are you ready for I'm, it? I'm ready. I'll be ready to play winner. Oh, I actually we're in the, the episode after this. You can play winner tomorrow, though. Actually, uh, you know what? I'll save it for Joker later. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, all right. So, Justin versus Shelling, we're going to go ahead and do the Dragon Finder game. Anything you win on this one will be added to your total at the end of the season, okay? All right. So, let's reveal the board. Alright, let's go ahead and continue it. There's that there, there mean, ugly dragon up there. <laughs> Alright, that's that ugly, mean dragon. So we're going to press enter, look at the board. Now every time you do not find the dragon, we're going to deduct that money that is on the board from the $10,000 you have, okay? And if you find a dragon right away, you'll get $10,000. It will be added to your total at the end of the season, okay? Okay. Are you ready to go ahead and play again, Play the Dragon Finder game? Yeah. Here we go. Let's cover up the board. And if you're ready, Justin for showing, where do you think that dragon is hidden at? Where did he, hit, where did he, where did he hide his ugly face? Well, first off, I can't see the screen. Oh, okay, right. <laughs> you actually want to see his ugly face, don't you? Yeah. I don't care if I have to rip my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, there you go. Can you see it? Let me know when yeah. you... Yeah. All right. Want, please. Which number you want? One. One. That's okay, he won one. one. Oh, Dragon, are you behind number one? Can you hear me? No. No. So the Dragon's not there, so now the bank is now at $9,000. Try again, Justin. Alright. I'll go number five. Number five. Let's see. Dragon, how the dragon are you behind number five? No, he's not there. So it costs you fifteen hundred dollars. You have seventy five hundred dollars in the bank left. Uh where else you would you think he's at, Justin? Number seven. Number seven. Oh, how are you behind number seven? If he's behind number seven, you'll get the 7,500. Let's see. No, not there. So it's down to $6,500, Justin. Okay, where else do you think he's at, Justin? Okay. Number nine. Number nine. How you a you sneaky bastard! Bring your face out. Here we go. No, okay. Well, that one costs five hundred dollars. Now the bank is at six thousand dollars. Justin, where is the dragon? We have to find him. Number eight. Number eight. Okay, number eight. Come on out, dragon. Stop playing around. Come on out. No, he's not there. So it's down to forty-five hundred dollars. You have four boxes left, Justin. What do you think? Three. Number three. Okay, how are you hiding back there behind number three? No. Okay, so we're down to thirty-five hundred dollars, Justin. We have two more tries at it. Okay, so where is the dragon now? Two. Going with number two. Two. All right. 
Dragon, are you back there behind number two? There you go, Justin. So you get that $3,500. So that $3,500 is very important, Justin, because if you are on top of the leaderboard, the top eight players on top of the leaderboard at the end of the season, they get to add their winnings to it, and that can very well determine you in whether you're going to be in the tournament, tournament or not, okay? All right, guys. Well, this is Rodney1279 signing off. I hope y'all enjoyed the first two episodes of Tic Tac Dough. We'll have more of them for you. We're going to do some more Tic Tac Dough on tomorrow. So y'all guys, be safe, be careful, take care, everybody, and stay blessed. Goodbye, y'all. And there's the other amount. Here we go. Goodbye, y'all.